Property Lim Brothers is bringing you to District 5 today. We have a one-bedroom loft unit that features a double volume ceiling. And this project itself is located just 5 minutes walk away to Buona Vista MRT Station. Now, this unit itself is perfect for both own stay and for investment purpose with an estimated high annual return. Now, watch on to find out more as we bring you to the Rochester Residences. Let's go! Now, in terms of the amenities in the location, <laughs> now, let me share some facts about the property. So, the Rochester Residences TOP in 2011, it is a 9 year lease project that started in 2005. Now, here's a fun fact. Although it is of an apartment status, but it doesn't mean that it is a small project or has very little units. In fact, there are huge projects such as Kingsford Water Bay and Bartley Residences which has over 1,000 over units and 700 over units respectively and they are both of apartment status. So the apartment status has nothing to do with the land size or the project size. Now before we dive deeper into the project, let's take a look at the surrounding in terms of the location. So where we are today, we are located in District 5 and the Rochester Residences is bounded by Rochester Drive, Vista Exchange Green and Rochester Park. So in terms of the location itself, we are just about 400 meters away or 5 minutes walk to Buona Vista MRT Station. And of course, accessing to the downtown line and the north-south line is also just 3 stops away from Buona Vista MRT Station where you can connect from Jurong East MRT as well as Botanic Gardens MRT. Now, in terms of the amenities in the location, just right downstairs, we have the Rochester Mall where you can find plenty of tuition centre, salons and eateries. And right across the street, you do have the Star Vista Shopping Mall which you have plenty of F&B options as well. And of course, there are also supermarket right over there. For local delights, you can find them at Holland Drive Market and Food Centre which is a short walk away. And you do have another alternative supermarket at Holland Drive area. Now, if that's not enough, you could always head on to Holland Village which is just one MRT station away. Where there are countless of eateries, you'll be spoiled for choice. Now for those who love a good outdoor workout, One North Park and the Rail Corridor are just all within close proximity to the Rochester Residences. Now for the schools around Rochester Residences, within 2 kilometers, we do have Fairfield Methodist Primary School, Henry Park Primary School, Newtown Primary School. There are also secondary schools around the area such as Fairfield Methodist SEC, higher learning institutions such as Singapore Polytechnic, Anglo-Chinese Junior College as well as international schools. Now coming back to the Rochester residences, our condo facilities are located on level 9. There are swimming pool, multi-purpose pavilion, barbecue area, children's playground, just to name a few. Now pulling out the site plan, the interesting thing to note is that towards the left side where the stacks are that sits across Rochester Drive, so this area itself, there are only a total of 32 units and all of these units are one-bedroom loft type units. And for the stacks towards the right side, it goes high up to level 37 and for our unit right here today it is situated within this block itself and it is also located on a high floor so generally there are two facings when it comes to this high floor stacks so there is the internal pool facing as well as the road facing now that's it for those stacks that are external facings you might have a chance to actually enjoy pockets of sea view from where you are facing so of course ultimately it depends on your personal preference in terms of the facing Now before we take a look at the interior of the unit, let's check out this amazing view right here. So in terms of the orientation, we are north facing and in fact it's also internal facing towards the development itself. You could see the pool right downstairs and of course you do have full height window over here which allows for a lot of natural lighting that comes into the unit itself. So I believe that in the daytime, you don't even have to turn on the light. And you do have a bay window area over here, which can definitely double up as additional sitting for your guests, you know, when you do have friends and families coming over for gatherings. Now moving into the living area, you do have a sofa right here, which could definitely sit about three to even four people. And you still get quite a good distance between the sofa to the TV itself. And you could still place a coffee table right here to place your drink and your food while you enjoy your favourite TV series. And of course, we take a look up above, you do 
do have a very good double volume ceiling height right here. So it definitely feels very spacious and not constrained at all. Now let's continue to check out the rest of the unit. So over here, you can see that there is a door. So it's actually a storage space. So I think this is really cleverly designed because right under the staircase, usually it's like an empty space that you do not need to use. So the developers have used it as a storage space for you to store all your bulky items. Now moving into the kitchen and the dining area over here. So currently the dining area is fitted with about four sitter table. But of course, if you do want to extend it out, I think you definitely have the space to do so if you do have more guests coming over. So in terms of the kitchen area, I think it's quite a sizable kitchen for a one bedder unit. So you do have plenty of storage spaces on top as well as at the bottom. And you do have a induction cooker here, hood already installed as well as built-in oven right here. So I really love this space over here because you do get additional food preparation space. And now if you walk around here, you can see that there is a door right here and this is actually the powder room. So I think this is really great because when you do have guests coming over, they do not need to go up to your master bedroom and use your master ensuite. They could just have access to the WC inside the powder room. And of course, you do have your washer and dryer space over here and you do have an additional space for storage over here. Now a possible renovation idea which you could definitely consider is to enclose up the kitchen possibly with glass partition. So that could definitely help to keep the grease when you are doing your cooking. Now let me share more analysis in terms of the floor plan. So if you are looking for loft type units within the Rochester residences itself, there are four floor plans which you could consider. Now the first type is an 840 square feet unit with no balcony. So there are a total of 16 such units. It's a one bed, one bath with the living area located on the lower floor and a bedroom with kitchen dining area on the upper floor. The second type of floor plan layout is a 1281 square feet and comes with a balcony. So there are also six 16 units available, one bed, one bath, and one powder room. There are also balcony located on both levels. The third type is a 1141 square feet layout. There are only two units available and it comes with personal enclosed space. So this is a one bed, one bath, and one powder room unit as well, with the living dining kitchen located on the lower floor and bedroom on the upper floor. And then we have our floor plan layout, which is a 1023 square feet layout. There are a total of 26 such units and the the unit itself doesn't come with a balcony. It is similarly one bed, one bath, comes with one powder room as well. And because there isn't any balcony, you do get to enjoy full livable space. Now for those of you who prefer a bigger living space with no balcony, as well as have an additional powder room for your guests on the level one, then I think that our floor plan layout would be suitable for you. Now let's head on upstairs to check out the master bedroom. coming up to the loft area is where your master bedroom is located at. So over here, you have quite a sizable space and of course, you could definitely fit in a king-size bed if you like to. So of course, over here, you do have a built-in wardrobe and lots of wardrobe space. In fact, we have three panel of wardrobe right here. And over here, right behind me is the master ensuite. So I think that this is a really great size master bathroom. You do have a longish kind of bathroom, definitely plenty of space. Even if, say, you want to change the sink out to a dual sink, that's definitely possible. One thing I think that is great is that there is also a ventilation window that is tucked behind the door at the top corner. Now let's head back into the studio where I'll be sharing more on the numbers. the studio. Now let me touch a little bit more on the pricing analysis. Now comparing the one bidder units around the vicinity, for new launch projects, we do have Nomenton Park, TOP 2023, asking around 1,900 odd PSF, One North Eden, TOP 2024, and the PSF is asking around close to 1,800 PSF. And of course, One Holland Village Residences, TOP 2025, it is at an asking of around 3,000 odd PSF. But of course, that is an integrated project. Now taking a look at the resale 
several projects in the vicinity as well. We do have one North Residences, which TOP 2009, asking around 1,500 odd PSF. Heritage View, TOP 2000, asking around 1,700 PSF. Dover Park View, TOP 1997, asking around 1,400 PSF. Now coming back to our unit here at the Rochester Residences, which is slightly younger than the resale projects as mentioned earlier on, we TOP in 2011, and we are at an asking of 1,400 odd PSF. Now let's have a more in-depth breakdown in terms of the numbers. Assuming you are purchasing our full asking of 1.5 million, 75% LTV, interest rate at about 3%, loan tenure 30 years, monthly mortgage would amount to around 4743, of which it further breaks down into principal and interest. So of course, principal is your actual capital invested, while interest would be your expense. So what we would like to find out is the cash on cash returns, and this would help us justify whether it would make sense to buy into this property. So cash on cash returns is a measure of your returns against the capital. Now to calculate cash on cash returns, there are three main components. So we would need to take the revenue, less of the expenses, and divided by the capital invested. So basing our calculations on three years because we do want to pass the seller's stamp duty period, assuming we are selling at a conservative price of about 1.6 million, that would mean about 6 odd percent growth over three years. And with the current rental performance at about 4,500 per month, that would mean that our annual cash on cash return would be at 6.67%. From an investment standpoint, this return is something that you cannot get from other financial instruments such as fixed deposit. And also, the return is already doing better than the current core inflation rate. So in our opinion, the 6 odd percent growth is actually possible because of the new launches around the area. So for instance, North Eden is already trending close to 1,800 PSF. So when it actually hits TOP and reaches the market, there will be a good disparity in terms of the PSF. Furthermore, if we were to pull out the URA master plan, there are still plots of land around that are subjected to detailed planning. So that means that there is still potential for growth. The Rochester Residences itself is also located at a prime spot with the One North Tech Hub around the corner, new housing, recreational corridors and work and industrial spaces just around the vicinity. Now this would definitely be an attraction for both buyers who are looking to purchase for their own stay as well as buyers who are looking to purchase for investment purpose. Thank you for staying with us through this home tour. So once again, if you are looking for a one beta unit in District 5, which is close to Bonavista MRT Station and has good growth potential, then do give our listing managers a call. Their contact details are down below. Do also hit the like and subscribe button to our Property Lim Brothers YouTube channel. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. My name is Yan Yan, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Now let's check out the living area. So <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so on the left side of this, uh, that's it. No. Pulling out the side plan. Mm -hmm. Now the interesting thing to note is that. Eh, wrong. I haven't pulled out my side plan yet. <laughs> okay. Mm. Wow.